Today we're here with uh, freshman pitcher Jordan Bray. Uh, Jordan, can you tell me a little about your hometown, where you were born and raised? Well, I was born and raised in Niagara Falls, Ontario. Um, coming from a city of 80,000 people, always finding something to do. There's tons of activities. Coming to Kaiser, it's a little, it's a little different. It was a little culture shock coming here, but I've uh, adjusted to it pretty well. It's basically baseball every day, and I like it. Well, uh, other than baseball, what are your hobbies? Um, outside of baseball, I just I like cars. I work on cars all the time. Um, I'm always proud of the car that I drive. Just I love it. Who would you say is the person that's influenced you the most in your life? Um, there's two people that influenced me the most. Uh, first off is my grandfather. He, both him and my father played baseball, and I feel like this is like a family tie. Um, but secondly, my dad playing for Team Canada. I feel like I have a lot to live up to. So both of them kind of influenced me just playing baseball throughout my career. That's awesome. Uh, what are you majoring here in Potomac State? Uh, I'm majoring in business administration. Uh, how about we talk about your decision to come to Potomac State? Uh, what made you want to become a catamount? Well, I heard about this program through the other Canadian on the team, Taylor Anderson. He, uh, our, um, our uh, travel coach at home, Scott Bullitt, is from Martinsburg, West Virginia. He, uh, he kind of told us about this school, and he told us a little bit about Coach Little, and especially for myself being a pitcher, he has a great win win percentage, and he told me a lot of good things, so I decided to be a catamount. What has been the biggest adjustment from high school baseball to college baseball for you? Well, I could pretty much go on for an hour. The difference between our high school baseball at home, we our season consists of around five to seven games. We just a bunch of guys who come together and we represent our school, but um, it's it's there's a big difference here. It's a lot more organized. It's every day. Our high school baseball at home, it it doesn't even compare. It's it's on a different level. What do you feel that you can bring to this team to help contribute to a, a good season? I, I feel that I could uh, help contribute in a little more depth in the pitching rotation. If not in the starting rotation, be one number one or two reliever coming out and just shutting guys down and helping our team get the wins. Well, we'll sure need you this year. Thanks, Jordan. Thank you. We're here with sophomore shortstop and right-handed pitcher Jason Driver from Sykesville, Maryland. After disappointing end of last season, how anxious are you to get back this year and get the season underway? Well, with the disappointing loss to uh, Pitt twice in the district tournament, we're definitely ready to get back outside and start this year and have a, try to have a good season. You have a lot of returning sophomores this year, but you also had some good freshmen come in. Can you speak to those guys at all? Yeah, the freshmen have done a good job. They stepped in and worked hard, added a lot of depth to our uh, team. And uh, first base is a big part. Fresh, we don't have a returning sophomore, and the freshmen have a good, done a good job there. What is one part of your game that you feel you have improved over the last year? Last year I struggled with the bat a little bit and I uh, worked on hitting the ball the other way to help improve my uh, hitting ability. What do you feel the strengths of this team are? Strengths are definitely leadership and uh, depth. Like we said before, the freshmen have added a lot of depth. We have a lot of options and uh, we have a lot of good leaders from the sophomores this year. Do you feel your team this year has a legitimate chance to make it deep in the postseason? Um, if the right guys stay healthy and eligible and work hard, uh, we ha we give ourselves a very good chance of having a good year. How much do you think being able to get outside and inter-squad this weekend will help you for the first game of the year? Uh, getting outside will help a lot because last year we didn't get to. So uh, getting outside, seeing the ball, live pitching, that will be a big help for us. Uh, how successful do you think today's inter-squad uh, inter went? Today's inter-squad was a long day, 12 innings, but uh, we got some good hitting and uh, pitching and some fielding opportunities in. Give us a nice head start on uh, the weekend. Thank you, Jason. Thank you.